this production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review number 72B for April 15, 2008. Coordinated Assaults. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network. Can you guess what map we are on? Were the cows a big enough giveaway? What about the middle VP? That's right, it is McGeckin's War, ladies and gentlemen. Yet another exciting addition from the beginning of the game, so addition doesn't really count. Epic failure. All right, into the game, we have a clan match here, Reborn versus these other guys. Uh, but before we go there, let me introduce myself. I am Bridger, a.k.a. Adam Ruzo for the GameFire Network. Tales.GameFire.com is where you can find Tales of Heroes. Also, send us email, talesof at GameFire.com. T-A-L-E-S-O-F at GameFire.com. With me, as always, is my capable co-host, Rogers. Welcome again to the show, sir. Thank you very much, Bridger. This is going to be a great match. It should be. It uh, definitely has some high skill level players, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this one played out since uh, we actually just got done playing on McGekin, so Yes, we did. should be a lot of fun. Uh, yes, so we have uh, Ami Polis F Funk and Ami Polis Funk, yeah, yeah, and Mar um, Marines Reborn. So those guys are the Reborn guys, from what I understand. And then XX Rax Velco and XX Rax Marcus two three eight nine, as opposed mm. to Marcus two three eight eight, who's not nearly as good as him, um, are now <laughs> playing against each other here on McGeckin. So. The, uh, the Reborn guys are playing as the allies. We have a British-American versus a Wehrmacht and PE right now. So we'll see how it plays out. Let's get it started. We're at the five-second mark. Unpausing in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Okay. All right. So the interesting thing of McEkins is the very lopsidedness of the map. The left-hand side with the two plus ten fuels are very, very important. You can already see the Panzer Elite players, Ketten is making a beeline for that plus 10 fuel, I believe. Unless, no, he's going past. He's going to take their plus 10 fuel, I bet. That's a good idea, because that'll that'll definitely, even if the British do push the Ketten off, if it manages to cap the sector, it's going to take him double the time to cap that point. Yep. So it's a good good little delaying tactic, especially if Ami goes uh, Scorched Earth. He can lay an early booby trap on there and delay him even longer. Yeah, so. that's that's an ideal spot for the first British, uh, for the for the truck to get to. Another one would be on the plus 10 that's over here on the left, one of those two plus 10s, because the left is just so important with all that fuel clustered right there. If you manage to capture both those fuels, then uh, it's, it's pretty much game over if you hold it for a really extended period of time. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. We've got what looks to be uh, Panzer Grenadiers coming out two in a row. Yep. And it looks like a double Pio start and a double Engineer start for the American and the Wehrmacht players. Um, so here we go. The Kettens capped it. And the British are actually pushing forward with their infantry section. They might be going for the, uh, I don't know, they're going for the house maybe? No? Yeah, they're yeah, going for the house Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to cut them off from that plus 10. That's a good little diverting tactic. Uh, also, I saw that Ami chose tank hunters because he got the repair ability. So that's interesting. We'll probably see a few Hetzers in this game. Yeah, you can and, look uh, on the Ketten there. Beat. And see yep. little repair things on it, extra fuel and whatnot. So we'll see how tank uh, how the uh, tank hunters goes. Right now, was that? I just heard something. Oh, it was a trench exploding because they were going to build it, and then the Germans showed up. We just had a massively bad game where the British just insta deleted their trenches the instant any grenades started launching. So we threw grenades and, and they, they didn't rebuilt. explode. They yeah. don't even explode anymore. They're just because yeah. they they're thrown onto an entity that doesn't exist anymore. It's like ah, so he yeah, needs so. to fix that really annoying uh let's see what do we got here the the americans are really helping uh, in terms of the capping power and getting the important sectors we have wsc up from uh, rax welco um he's going to get an mg to cover probably the choke point uh and probably even hop in the building that the recon section's in now that's definitely a good position for that mg and if they build a mortar emplacement in the back that yeah. place is locked down yeah it really so. is that that building is one of the great ones with with full line of sight on all sides but the Axis players, taking advantage of the longer range of the MG42, are now going to be able to pepper that building 
and maybe not do a whole lot of damage, but they'll be able to do a little bit. Yeah, it's a stone building. That that build that MG is not going down from that Axis MG because stone buildings take very little to no damage from uh, outside entities. Yeah, but I mean, if you've got a machine gun and it's not doing anything, putting it in the position he's put it in now doesn't hurt, and he's going to do yeah. a little bit of damage over time. So maybe when the time comes, that grenade or that you know last desperate push to kill the MG or the that that last mortar shot actually does it in when it otherwise mm -hmm. wouldn't we, have. We actually have a bunker coming up. Uh, probably going to be an early medic bunker. That would probably be a really good call for all the Panzer Elite units that are probably going to die in the next few minutes. Uh, and then bring <laughs> back his Grenadier squads. That's going to be really nice. And we have uh, flame grenades upgraded. So those are probably going to go and uh, pepper the building in here. Oh, While look at that. The, uh, very nice diversion. That's really good baiting. Yeah, very nice job right he there. He had him behind cover, which helped prevent the loss. Here comes the building grenades. Two of them. Yep. Oh, no. He might even That's not even get him out of there. Barely did. Two of them, at that dot damage is really vicious. Now the bike moves in. Very nice coordinated assault there. They might even be able to take out this 30 cal. But there's a trench. No, that's a mortar emplacement, I yeah. yeah, that's the, the bike shooting at it, though. Get it. This is a great little engagement here, really. Uh, and one thing I like to see, the Bren carrier was being used as a uh, unit transport. Did you see that earlier, Bridger? He was oh, actually it using it uh, to, uh, he had a recon section in it, and he capped the plus uh, 10 directly south of that position. And now he brought it up to the front line. That's a very good use right there. Yeah. On a map this big, where you're so far away from your gate base because you're fighting on the far left, that, uh, that Bren could definitely be useful in that role. So it's sort of a trade-off if you want to upgrade the machine gun. Oh no, lost the recon section it looked like there. That is big right there. Yeah. And uh, the field support truck from Marcus managed to get up on the plus 10, so that's going to give him that beautiful little resource bonus that the Brits get. And I believe the brain carrier is upgraded with the uh, Vickers. Yes, it is. He's getting a mortar pit down here, which is a very good spot for this current engagement. It's the only way he's going to take back these little buildings. Enemy armor piercing? Down. Is that what that sounds like? Yeah, armor piercing to it's. kill the bike. I think that was a little bit excessive. Sniper we don't really need to do that, but sniper hopefully killed this Axis... Oh, dear. It was revealed somehow. The Axis sniper. Um, so, Oh, no. He did get the Allied sniper. Very nice shot. Yeah. That's really big. Uh, that's that's a big setback for the Allied players right there, in my opinion. I didn't even notice he had it. I think it... Yeah, it was probably over here somewhere on the right-hand side, sneaking yeah, in. Yeah, it was, it was near the, the VP and the MG team. It's near the dead bloody cow. That's where the Allied yeah. sniper was. Oh, no! Panzerfaust killed the Bren carrier. That was probably a mistake, leaving it in combat that long. I'm surprised it did last that long as it did. But, uh, actually, those medics sitting there with nothing to do at the bunker. So far, we yeah, haven't... Yeah, because they all was... got sniped or blown up, you know? So yeah, they I mean, haven't been able to much. that was a very well-executed attack, though, by the Axis. And oh, to be fair, though, there wasn't that many... That, that much defense. They only had to overcome the one machine gun, because everything else was down here capping, and, and they all came back heroically to die. Because the machine gun was already down. Enemy unit down. Yeah, nice! Uh, Mortar killed a whole squad. Oh, boy. Trying to cap that plus five. Yeah, that's a good placement for the mortar uh, the mortar section there because that's going to have line of sight, I believe, all the way even close up to that uh, medic bunker right there. Yeah. So that's going to be really big. And these MGs have really been negated. And he's realizing that and he's pulling them back. Very smart move there by uh, the reborn player. So we've got a second machine gun, two machine guns and a sniper holding this left here for the Wehrmacht yeah. player. The PE has pulled all the way back to his base in order to fast build a Panzer Support Command. And do you see the Ketten following the sniper angrily? <laughs> <laughs> guy's probably just wishing, I wish I could get off this vehicle and shoot the guy in the head. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm revealing him, I'm revealing him. Look, there he is. Somebody shoot him. Oh, there's a bike coming out from Marianas, so he might get it. But he's gonna have to be careful here. What else? We got a whole bunch of units leaving uh -oh. the base. Eh? Flank attack by the British, it looks like. Never mind, they're just capping a point. Uh, I yeah, thought they no. were gonna sneak around or something. Oh, they captured the Allied 30 cal, the Volks. Very nice work there. Yep. We got a logistics car up for uh, probably some OPing. Oh, and, uh, nice! Yeah, ground out there. He got the bike around behind the machine gun before it could set up. And he's revealed the, the, the sniper, but he can't get it because the other machine gun's set up. If only bikes had heavy crush, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's got it now! That was bad moving the, machi the, the sniper over there, but... Oh, bike's dead now. Too bad, too bad. Enemy unit down. 
gonna try to drive away. No, uh oh, no this chance. is this is bad now for the Axis sniper. He has to. Oh, that was that a misfire? It was, yeah. Huge right. PE push on the uh, the right hand side. Check that Ooh, out. Ooh, look at that. The yeah. Five. They're gonna just move up, try to get the middle, and probably maybe push all the way to the 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 outer perimeters of the Allied well, bases. The, the Kettens swung around and capped their plus five. Mm. Oh, this WSC unit's in deep trouble. Slow it, slow it. Use the hacks. No. <laughs> your They're gonna retreat, come up on a huge flank. All it's your retreat has belonged to us. Yeah, no kidding. Now, what the hell happened to all those? Right. Okay, the American units are over here. Oh, they lost the uh, the thirty cal. Wow, look at these yeah, the snipers. Box. They're right next to each other. But they missed. They both missed their targets. <laughs> oh my god. They revealed each other. That was awesome. Yeah, oh, but he's sending the sniper, in the Pios. Go oh, for nice. it, Pios. Nice. But the sniper is on flow. No, no. He's trying to reveal it. He's got it revealed. His sniper's turning. Turning to fire. No, the half track's in the way. Oh. No, that's really bad luck. And then uh, this 30 cal is doing great the suppression job, and I think the mortar's going to zero in. Now the mortar's still focusing on the medic bunker. I knew it had sight there. And very nice, that recon section that capped the plus 10 hopped into the building. Yeah. So uh, nice little flank around there. This, this battle is going to come out on top of the allies probably. But the sniper's slow. Look at that, Bridger. Which sniper? The allied yeah, sniper? sniper? Oh, wow. The main nice use of slow. There. That's hard to use. You got to be really fast on that if they're retreating, because oh, especially yeah. it's only one guy and not a whole squad. So the allied allies have wasted close to 700 manpower on snipers, and it just unfortunately hasn't paid off for them. Good retreat, because the recon section was rushing his sniper. Good work there. Yeah. The, uh, we have a Panzer IV being built right now. Oh boy. Strafing there is no counter on the field to speak of. Yeah. Enemy unit Headquarters down. command truck, so they don't even have the armor command truck yet. They just barely got their field support truck. What's popping out? A captain? Uh... Yep. Captain's out. Strafing what? run did very little on the PGs by the British HQ, by the fuel. Well, that's it only weird. It looked like to, it, it, it went all the way across and attacked their own support truck. <laughs> <laughs> it did one of those bugs where it went across almost the whole field. Now, that mortar... He needs to get that logistics car out of there. There you go. Good work. Good work. The scout car, yeah. He was using it to, to increase his, his resources on it and to prevent them from capping, but it... Uh, yeah, to get a faster close. Panzer IV out. ground out there. That's a nice work right there. He's getting the skirts on it at the moment, and uh, that's that's just gonna... Oh, no, that lieutenant's real... in trouble. He might be able to come out on top of this. He needs to sneak the lieutenant out the back if he can using the uh, ability move, but no, it fell. No. Nope. It died, yeah. Here comes the a lot of stuff up here. AT guns moving into position. This is a very good coordinated assault in order to support the uh, Panzer IV. The VP was capped on the right-hand side as well as the middle, so we have a triple VP cap Ooh. by the uh, allied players. Yeah, the Axis might be winning all the battles here, but they're not paying attention to the engineers sneaking around the sides. The Ketten is sneaking around the sides, too. Stuart versus Panzer IV, who will win? <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be the battle good. of the Oh, but the AT guns are right there. Oh, yeah. It gets a shot it. off. It did. It got one he shot off. Fuel point is being seized. He needs to get it down that road to repair, and he cannot lose that steward. Point is ours. What we'll lock down? Panzer IV is destroying the mortar emplacement. Was that a canister shot? Did he just use a canister shot? No, I don't think so. Yeah, now he did. Wow. There we go. And it, and still the pack survived. <laughs> it just didn't shoot. Yeah. It kind Faust of like it. Faust it, for him. God's sake. Might have already done it, actually. I don't know if they're on yeah. cooldown. Might have already done it. Oh! The steward is destroying. Let's see what's going on in the base here. He's lost the mortar. And he's... Oh, he's got it locked down, so it's firing faster, too. Yep. That's that's quite the fast fire rate, isn't it? Look at that thing. Yeah. The only thing is, that's completely worthless against Americans, because they're just going to sticky you if you're standing still, so... Yeah, or satchel you. <laughs> yeah, or satchel for that matter. We haven't seen any airborne, but he went, uh, let's see, right hand side first, so he can't get any recoilless. The Americans have really been crippled by the WSC start, in my opinion, because it really hasn't paid off for him at all, other than holding him off initially. Oh, Stewart's going to go down to his second Panzer IV. There that was a comes. great canister shot, though. Oh, man. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, that's stewards. a new steward. There's two stewards in the yep. field. The canister shot yep. that you're talking about was the, was the second steward. And this P Panzer IV still... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. M10, not good for the Panzer IV at the British base. That's... I think he's going to keep it in there, it looks like. Nope, he's getting out of there. Oh, he's going to try to get it out, but the M10's easily going to chase him down. I'm surprised how little damage that Panzer IV did to the British base buildings. Yeah. Enemy unit. I mean, yeah. Panzer Shreks do more than that. And there goes the first Panzer IV with defensive vet. Ouch. Oh. Also, the half went down. The Let's see, what was that? A pack crew went down, and the sniper almost went down from the strafing run. Oh, yeah. Uh, just south of that strap point. That Killed the pack completely, it looks like. Yeah, it destroyed the pack. And uh, also, the half track was taken out in an engagement with one of the stewards that limped away. Ah. I think... Second M10 up. This game has changed completely. Yeah, this is really bad. Stuart and two M10s versus a Panzer IV, and I don't see any Shreks on the field at all to help him out. The only thing they have are the packs, and he has a Hetzer out now. That oh, just wait, there was a Faust to try and help against this M10, but... Keep the level one vet M10 moving, please. Mm, yeah, he needs to chase it and kill it. He He's going for it, but here comes a Hetzer. Hetzer. German tank destroyer versus American tank destroyer? I guess so. Oh, he lost the Panzer IV, but he might get this M10 in return. He needs to get that defensive level of that uh, M10 up now. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. See, look at this. Warm. This is how the Stug should move. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> look how fast that thing is. What the hell? Did you hear that thing oh! fire like six times? <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Fight. That was ridiculous. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Yeah, oh no, gun damage. Oh, that's a secondary gun. No, I think the primary gun was, no, it does mean, yeah, ma there goes the main gun. The main gun now. No, this no, it's up in the air right now, actually. Yeah, this, this is, is all over effective. the place. Quite hectic. He's, do he's already gone in disco mode. He wasn't even dead yet. He was already in disco mode. <laughs> so look at this. And here come the airborne. Yep. Yeah. The, air uh, the, the, the British and the American have completely taken back the left side now with what looks like a Cromwell. Yep, Cromwell and the Stuart and their machine guns. And now the, the middle has been retaken by the Panzer Grenadiers during that entire exchange. But They're going to lose both the fuels on the uh, left-hand side. Yeah. That's going to be really big because they locked uh they, they stole one of the mg42s the tommies did and oh god we have flank speed activated he's trying to run over him Bastard. he got two of them <laughs> backing up that's so evil. yeah it seems like the german players a little bit reeling right now from uh that losing two panzer fours that's a huge investment and uh, also the uh the hetzer as well for only one m10 yeah so this is up in the air right now Good use of airborne dropping to support and cap the points. Down to 300 points. I think the thing that that caused that all to happen was uh, he, those two packs were the perfect support for that Panzer IV. You know, if he had kept, been able to keep those alive, that engagement would have probably gone very, very differently. Uh, the M10s would have had a much harder time because he would have just lured oh, yeah. them right into the packs. But the first one got killed, pretty much destroyed by the uh, the Stuart. In very, very good micro from the British yep. player, and then the other one got killed by that strafing run. And now the Air Cromwell's being team. a little bit aggressive, going straight into the oh. base here. He's going after the sniper, kills it in one kill. shot. No! Oh, that's too bad. That was a 14 kill sniper. Ouch. Uh, Keep going to that right, they might get veterancy without actually having to do anything. This is This is why... AT guns are useless sometimes. Oh man, there goes the strafing run to try and help. <laughs> Why is the rubble bin not firing? I mean, the flak verling not firing on an aircraft? I don't get that. Because the tank is clearly a bigger priority. How are they all suppressed? Oh, from the strafing run, I suppose, point out huh? There. They're yeah. all uh, you know? Yeah, that sucks. The suppressed retreat. Yeah, that's that's really lame. So this, yeah, this Cromwell's gonna be bad news, but the Panzer leader pushing up on the left hand side, left hand side. Yeah, well, <laughs> correction, me. walking back. Yeah. I don't know if they met the steward or what, but this Cromwell still just there. Finally got an extra Panzerfaust off on it and killed it, but that might have even been worth it for the amount of 
delay that they just caused their opponent. Definitely. And they've just now been able to completely base. secure the, the map. They've We're captured a Pack 38. They've got a Sherman, a Cromwell, pa uh, paratroopers, two machine guns on the left to guard the fuel. This is probably game over for the Axis. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it back. Despite that textbook assault in the beginning, this is going to be even harder. He's finally got a Panzer Jaeger up, and he's trying to get Martyrs, but i it's probably too late with all the uh, defenses that the Allies have been able to emplace. I'm amazed we haven't seen any British emplacements. That's really surprising. Yeah. He spent everything on teching up and getting uh, Cromwells and Stuarts. ASAP. I wonder what doctrine he went, if he went uh, Royal Commandos or... Uh, really not sure. Because we haven't seen any doctrine-specific things from the British, have we? I don't think so. No Churchills, yeah, no, no Commandos. Yeah, no Churchills, no Commandos. Maybe RCA. But uh, he hasn't even built a 25-pounder. Yeah. Enemy unit down. It might have been RCA, because I'm pretty sure he, he chose that when he built the mortars. Because I'm pretty sure the, the first time he built the mortar, he couldn't reach the medic bunker. But then I think he got the overcharge, the supercharged rounds, and uh, that allowed him to reach the medic bunker. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's I, I RCA. Strafeuren came in on the massing German forces, killed about four Volks, and the rest were just pinned and suppressed. Ouch. The Cromwells are really great yeah, anti-infantry tanks. Left. Those things are absolutely devastating. Yeah. They just snipe infantry so... And then effect. retreat with flank speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now available. You can't beat it. <laughs> Probably better than a Sherman, too. Yeah. But the Sherman has the added ability to actually kill tanks. And this martyr is in deep trouble. Yeah. Away. Oh, but it might get a nice shot off on the Stuart. Ouch, there yeah, it is. Yeah, they're vastly inaccurate when they're moving. And here comes a well, lot it, of it hit things. the Stuart, but it did hardly <laughs> any damage. I thought the martyr was supposed Packs to be like massive face damage. right now because the two in the back that don't really know what they're doing. There we go. Oh, oh there's still no Shreks to stop this Stuart. This and could be a huge canister oh! shot. My God. Oh, oh man. What was that, like three Pio squads died? Instant At least. Gift. That was pretty bad. Yeah. That was Main gun destroyed, but rebuilt. Fighting. Nice, forced that Cromwell out. Oh, but a, one pack working? killed the other. <laughs> oh, man. And here come uh, some rifle sections to say A hello. light AT half track. I think that would have been very useful a lot earlier. Um, to counter the first steward and cripple it, and then just go in with uh, the packs, just follow them up with the packs. That helps. Rifle grenades are absolutely devastating to bunch up in oh, as man. well as. Here comes the first 25 pounder, right by the fuel. Yeah, this is going to be really bad for the axis. Martyr, no, oh, still alive. Enemy unit down. And here comes a strafe to follow it off and finish up a Volk squad. Yeah, as if there wasn't enough destruction from the 25 pounder. And the uh, Pack 38 gets a kill. Infantry and it almost lost. got the martyr too. I think it took out a uh, scout. The captured guard. one? Yeah, the captured pack. Yeah. Oh no, the Sherman's gonna run over a whole bunch of stuff. Oh man. Oh, oh there they go. Oh, he just <laughs> knocked guy. that guy out of it. Oh. See how useless the very packs nice are? Comeback by the allies. Yeah, it very is. Nice. I was wondering what the American player was doing while the British player was getting owned by that Panzer IV, but that's what they were doing. They were He was teching up. And yeah. He saved his, uh, his, his ally, and they pulled off the win. Very nice game. Yeah, very good teamwork. Nice little short game. No kidding. Losing a strategic game. Now there goes a pack 38 out here. I mean, this game makes you want to buff the pack, because it just, yeah. he built like five of them, and none of them got a kill, I don't think. But then again, they weren't backed up with Shreks like you would, might normally see, and that was probably the biggest problem. Yeah, that's true. Well, that uh, was an entertaining game. Yeah, a nice little match. I wanted to throw in a, um, a regular style, VP style game. Just a quick, you know, fun, competitive one uh, to, to, to go along with the an Annihilation game, because I know some people would be upset that we put the Annihilation <laughs> game out, and they're like, Annihilation isn't real company of heroes, blah, 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 blah. But it was a special case, because it was Relic playing, so we had to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a crazy cool game. I was very impressed. Yep. Indeed. Short, but sweet.
Um, what do you think? I think we mentioned Shrek's would probably be one of the best things to help the Axis at, at certain points. Um, yeah. I think that if they would have gone, uh, if the Panzer Elite player would have gone for an early light half tr light AT half track and then crippled the first steward and then the Wehrmacht player gone Grenz with Shrek because he had tier two up, he had his Kriegs up. And so he could have saved the um, the Panzer Elite, the investment of Shreks, which I don't think he ever got in the first in the second place. But uh, yeah, definitely, I think a light AT half track would have really helped stop uh, or somewhat countered the effectiveness of those light vehicles that the Allies hit him with. So yeah, I mean <clears throat> the the Panzer Elite sort of have a good tier two to four strat, which is look like the player in this case was trying to do. You go tier two, and you can get you know. You got infantry half tracks for killing infantry, and you've got your mortar half track for mortaring, and then that also gives you Shreks if you need some early AT, and then you go to tier four to get the Panzer IV. You know, if you really, if yeah. like what he did, would to go a really fast Panzer IV, which you know completely destroyed the Brits because they were completely unprepared for it. But uh, he, he pushed a little bit too far and a little bit too aggressively, and he never got the Shrek upgrade. Which uh, which did speed up his Panzer IV teching, but he never got the Shrek upgrade, so he couldn't support his Panzer IVs, and the packs just weren't enough because they were getting raped by a Stuart while his Panzer IVs were out, unfortunately. Yep. But very good Agreed. teamwork by both players. Oh no, kidding! That was a great comeback by the Allied players when they, in their darkest hour, they came back. It was like uh, Gandalf at the end of the Second Lord <laughs> of the Rings with all the the Riders of Rohan. Anyway, so yeah. yeah. I took a level in badass, can you tell? Um, so I thought it was kind of amazing how they came back from that, um, despite having heart, none of the fuel early in the game. I think the British truck sitting on the plus, eight, the plus 10 probably helped it. They were able to make up, up a lot of the fuel that they didn't have. They also had the engineer capping the right-hand side of the map, which gave them an extra plus 10. Yeah. So that's, that's how they did that. So if you want to make a comeback, use your engineers. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to a short but sweet secondary episode, Tales of Heroes, right here on the Game Fire Network. And uh, we always encourage you to send in uh, your feedback, talesof at gamefire.com. And if you did enjoy the show, consider donating. Tales of, or tales.gamefire.com is where you can find it. Thanks for tuning in. For Rogers, I am Bridger, signing off.